Kiko TV presents the wisdom of Hawaii's elders. Stories from our kapuna. I grew up in on the south side of Chicago and met Carolyn, my wife, who's a local girl, uh, in India in the Peace Corps. The Vietnam War is a, the backdrop of all this. And I thought actually I might go into the Navy or the Coast Guard, but the Peace Corps, uh, I went to a table at the recruiting, college recruiting fair. And I kind of liked the idea, I applied. I was applying to all kinds of things. And uh, Peace Corps, I said, that's an interesting one. And where's India? I don't know where India is, but so I said, I'll go. An interesting thing popped up, an interesting job popped up, and it was something that I kind of wanted to do and had a little bit of experience. And it was as an instructor and as an associate director for the outward, a new Outward Bound program here and on the Big Island. So I spent two years working in this program. Uh, I always think of the Peace Corps and this Hawaii Outward Bound program as forks in the road for me. And I mean, when you look back, you can see the you know, inflection points. That was also an inflection point. In the process of doing that, one of the things I did was I got some training in Ho'oponopono, which is the old Hawaiian way of sorting out disputes in extended families. Ho'oponopono means to make things right, right? Pono, pono. Um, and it's, it, at the time we learned it, there weren't a lot of practitioners of it, but in Mililii, it was still a family practice, and we learned from some elders there. And that was the, the thread that leads me into the world of mediation, conflict resolution, and working with small groups and larger groups to sort out problems and come to resolution. When people are starting to get into some kind of a complicated situation, whether it be a, a neighborhood problem, whether it be a, a marital problem, whether it be a commercial problem between businesses, people tend to get more positional. I want this, I demand this, and this person needs to do that, and they're at fault, and I'm innocent. And I can't tell you how often I have to slow the fight down so people get a chance to actually tell their stories and get heard. It's one of the keys. I really didn't know what I wanted to do. But I did know what I didn't want to do. And maybe that's a part of life, is learning what you don't want to do. Maybe that's the more important thing. The Wisdom of Hawaii's Elders.